In this exercise, we are given a list of data values. We want to create a histogram out of this list of data values. So what we want to first do is copy and paste the data values into Excel. So we can just click and drag, highlight all of the values, and we can just copy with Control C, or you can right click, copy, and then go into Excel, and then Control V, paste. And now we have the data values all listed out here. So now we want to do is create a histogram. And to do that, we go up to insert under all these different tabs. We click insert. Now there's different ways to get there. I like to go to the recommended charts and then go to the all charts. That way I can just see all the different charts. Now there's a lot of options, but what we want is a histogram. So we just click the histogram. There's only one option. So we double click that. And now this doesn't look like a very nice histogram because there are, there are only two bins or two classes here. But if we look down at the exercise, it looks like we want one, two, three, four, five classes or five bins. And they have a bin width of about 10. It goes from 0 to 10 to 20. So we're counting up by 10 from one bin to the next. Now to change that in Excel, what we can do is over here in the chart, we can click on the numbers here. So see how the numbers are highlighted. You have this little box here. If you right click and you go to format axis, now we have these options here, these axis options. And what we want to change is the bin width. So we want to change the bin width to be 10. When we type 10 in, we hit enter. Now we can see if we drag the chart over, we can see we have, it goes from zero to 10, 10 to 20, 20 to 30 and so on. So it looks more close to the histogram that we have in the exercise. And so to actually interact or to draw this histogram in the exercise, we have these black dots that are movable. So in the bin that's from zero to 10 that we created, it goes up to four. So we just click and drag the black dot to four. In the bin from 10 to 20, that goes to three. And then the bin from 20 to 30, we see that goes to two. And then the bin 30 to 40, that goes to one. And then the last bin 40 to 50, we see on the histogram that goes to two as well. So that's how we interact and put in our answer for this exercise.